Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Linda Uche Udungbo. If you are new here, thank you so much for coming. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so, 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 so much for coming by and returning and watching my videos and supporting your girl. Okay, today guys, <laughs> I'll be sharing with you guys, just like the topic said, I'll be sharing with you guys what really went wrong on my wedding day. Yeah, you may want to ask why am I talking about it right now. Yeah, I was just cleaning my house the other day and I just was cleaning the only, <laughs> the only framed wedding picture I have. And I was, as I was cleaning it, I went down memory lane. I was like just remembering all that went down on that day, the drama, the, you know, everything, the chaos, if I may put it that way, that went down on that day. I actually got married on the 25th of May, 2002. Yeah, that will make me, that's making me 20 good solid years <laughs> in marriage this year, this year, yeah. And uh, I just thought I should just share some things that went wrong. I call it the good, the bad, and the ugly things that went down. If you want to know all that went down or went wrong on my wedding day, please stay tuned and keep watching. <laughs> Actually, my wedding was a beautiful one, you know, so to say, it was a beautiful one. I look forward to it and all that, did the planning and everything. And uh, <laughs> definitely, you know, when you're doing something, you're doing a party, some things will definitely go wrong. But these ones, uh, there are some of them that I feel could have been avoided if well planned, you know. So number one on my list is my husband went for his wedding suit on our wedding day in fact the morning of our wedding day yeah yeah you have me right that i saw my husband not really the night before the day before as we saw we both saw each other we asked i asked him how far with some you know things he needs to handle on his own part how far are they all you know to go and all that and he gave me assurance that everything is ready asking your suit he said the suit has been ready and all that not knowing that Bobo was just trying to please me or make me have you good or be happy and so it happened on that day i actually was in church already all dressed up the wedding was supposed to be for 10 o'clock and we were already waiting for Oga groom Oga groom was nowhere to be found. In church, we all waited. He was nowhere to be found. Only for him to come much, 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 much later. That was when he appeared. And I just didn't want to ask him what actually happened. But later after the wedding, he told me it was that morning he went for his suit. And I was wondering why that morning? Why didn't the tailor or whoever it is, you know, whoever it was, why didn't the person bring the suit to you or why didn't you go before that time? Well, I guess he was caught up with the planning of the wedding and maybe he forgot that his suit was not yet with him. <laughs> and so that one is point number one. My husband went for his suit on the morning of our wedding. Related with the first point, number two, my husband almost stood me up. <laughs> on our wedding day yes Be due to he went for his suit that morning he couldn't meet up with the time the wedding time and so the wedding that was supposed to be for 10 o'clock we didn't start the wedding we were joining of the wedding until 1 2 o'clock as, as in 1 1 p.m going to 2 everybody was you know so confused we were wondering what was going on is it that he's scared or was he kidnapped what really happened nobody knew i didn't know people were asking me where's your husband what happened and i didn't know i was like is he not there they said he's not there. i said okay fine if he's not there no problem if i wait for him till when it's time for us to go home and it's not here i'll go home even my dad had to come and call me well <laughs> my dearly my darling daughter if your husband doesn't come i'll be so glad to take you home just don't panic 
don't be stressed up don't let anything put you down or get worried or walked up over it and i was like thank you daddy for that it was really <laughs> though i didn't see i was not so i was not afraid so i was not thinking of it and all that because i had other issues other things going on on my own plate that i was dealing with already that it even didn't make me to think about that you know and so my husband came so so late to the wedding so very late to the wedding that is point number two <laughs> number three thing that went wrong on my wedding was my makeup artist, my makeup artist disappointed me. Yeah, true, true story. Actually, the person who was supposed to make, make me up was my husband's cousin. She was a big makeup artist then, you know, and when we were preparing for the weddings, we were wait for the wedding, sorry. We were with her and you know gave her invitation, told her about the wedding and all that. And my husband was like, okay, I want to, to make my wife up for the wedding. And she was like, okay, what time, when is the place, where is the venue and everything and all that. And she agreed that she was going to make me up for the wedding. And I was so excited that fine that uh, someone like her is going to make me up on my wedding. And I was, you know, so happy and she gave me a time okay i'll be there so so time since you'll be I'll, I'll be available that she'll be there to make me up and all that and i was so happy and excited and so i didn't even have any other plan i actually went at the, to the venue waiting for this my in-law me or my this my husband cousin makeup artist to come make me up and lo and behold, she didn't come. She didn't even give a call to say why she won't be able to make it. And she didn't even call after the wedding to ask us how we did it. Yeah, it was that bad. You know? And the, should I say the unfortunate thing was that I so much trusted and relied on her that she was going to come and make me up. And so I didn't make any other plan. In fact, I almost didn't come with any makeup. It was only a powder, you know, my compact powder and an eye pencil. That was all for my blood. That was all I was with that day. And in fact, if you see my pic my picture, <laughs> I was so looking plain, sort of, you know, on my wedding because there was no other, you know, thing. And there was nobody around me as at when I was make dressing up and, you know, my friends were not around then which is another point too. My friends were not around then. I was just alone with an aunt and it was so, it was so, it was so, so uh, should I say bad? <laughs> but I didn't let it weigh me down. I moved on, you know, because I have a wedding to, <laughs> to, to be part of. Yeah, I have a wedding to make and all that. And, and so I made do with just my comfort father, my infants, and I still look good. And that was it. My makeup artist didn't call me to explain why she wasn't available and how to ask or know how my wedding was. The fourth point, you know, is one, uh, I don't know how to put it, but let me just say, I had a heated argument with one of my sisters. Yeah. <laughs> you'll be shocked yes we really argued it was so serious that people were coming around where we where i was dressing up to ask what was going on and all that and people were like trying to tell me okay just you know calm down and all that yes we really had a serious 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 heated argument over what over nothing so you know important or how would i put it you know she's this churchy type of person and uh, i she came to see how the brother's wife was doing now. I was dressing up and all that. I found that I fixed nails. <laughs> yes, that bad. <laughs> I fixed nails and she was like, uh, I have to get those nails off or else there won't be any wedding. I was like, what? Did I just hear you say there won't be any wedding if I don't get the nails off? I said, okay. I would like to see how you're going to stop my wedding. I'm not taking these nails off. I ain't taking these nails off. And that's final. And she was really shouting, arguing, and I was like, Auntie, please, oh, I fixed these nails and I will not take them off. 
this is what I want for my for myself and I've done it and you can't tell me how to do or how to dress or how to be me, you know. So I fixed the nails and I'm not going to take them off. And it was so serious, we were so much arguing, people were coming, some even went as far as bringing blade, the blade, scissors. My cousin was like, let her go get me scissors so that she was, I said, please, nobody, just don't waste your time, don't waste your money, don't get anything. I'm not taking these nails off and I'm going to get married, whether she likes it or not. Yeah? She's not my husband, she's not me. We are the only ones that can make this wedding, apart from God, we are the only ones that can say, okay, we don't want this marriage again, we don't want this wedding again, we are calling it off. And so she herself, she can't stop this wedding. And that one was another, see, in fact, it was one of the major things, it was the major, major, major thing that went wrong on my wedding day. It was so bad, my friends, my classmates, because then I was in school, they were asking me, who is she, is she your mother in I said, no, she's not my mother, she's just my husband's sister and all that. So why is she like this? I was like, well, she's a churchy person now, so you don't blame her, you know? So that was made me upset, you know, because I it's almost wanted to spoil my mood, but for my wedding day to bring such a vibe, a negative vibe, you know, to me, on my wedding day and all that was so off, off, off there for me. But we later got along well and fine, we are fine. <laughs> so up to the next point. Another point was I was made to go with for my husband at the altar of my wedding day. <laughs> Five people. <laughs> that day, you need to imagine how that point, that day, 25th of, of November of May, 2002, you need to imagine how that day was. Everywhere was chaotic. People were, you know, were just, we were just confused. And so all of a sudden, the coordinator of the wedding coordinator, you know, in the church then just called me that I should come downstairs, come downstairs, come into the church, come and, you know, march in or come and uh, dance in and all that. And I was like, okay, fine. And I came downstairs, I saw my friends, everybody, and they were like, ah, that one is not yet here. And I was like, what? It's not here. So why are they telling me to go? <laughs> to go into the church, to go to the altar. What? Am I the one to go there with for him and all or what? And I was like, man, I'm not going anywhere. So I told the man, please sir, I will not enter the church. If my husband is not there, I'm not going in. So you don't expect me to go there and stand at the altar waiting for my husband. No way. When Mr. Groom comes, we go into the church. And truly, <laughs> I stood my ground. I'm not going anywhere. Thankfully, my church, you know, uh, uh, they, they like, we're very understanding in a way, you know, the God just really helped that day, the ministers, everybody, you know, they were all understanding and, well, also there was no other wedding after mine and all that and so everybody was understanding, the church was still full, people were still there waiting, but what happened was that immediately my husband came in, phew, Everything was rushed. There was no time for anything. We just went straight to the altar, the joining and all that, and we came out to take our pictures. And the church wedding was over, straight to the reception. <laughs> you know, <laughs> things really happen. <laughs> so, lastly, <laughs> lastly, uh, the last thing that went wrong on my wedding that. If I remember it even today, <laughs> I get more. I st I'm still angry, you know. I don't have a wedding video, truly. Yeah, I don't have some part of my wedding video. I would say I have only the, uh, the reception video or the church wedding, and I don't have the other part of the wedding video. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> There's this guy, my husband went to contact to do the wedding video and he was also the photographer. And you can imagine how bad my photograph, my wedding photographs were. I don't even have, you know, only one that I laminated, you know, I framed and all that. The rest are just, they are reviews. I just kept them because they were, most of them were not so good. The quality of the pictures were not so good. And my husband contacted this guy and when I asked him about who is doing the video and, you know, and all that, and he told me he got this guy and I was like, wait, 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 wait a minute. He got this guy, same no, no, no. This guy has got, he has some, you know, the reviews 
you know, that I, you know, I found about him was that he's always disappointing people, you know, in their jobs, you know, sort of. Because my cousin had did her wedding a year or two before mine, and she had the same problem. Her wedding video was replaced with a birthday party. You can imagine that such carelessness. You did the wedding, you videoed the wedding, and you came to give the couple their video. And it was a birthday party that was recorded in the video. And we were so mad, so angry and annoyed. And now this same man is the person you want to go for because you feel he's cheap. Oh, my dear, there's nothing, nothing good comes cheap. Yes, I say that, nothing good comes cheap. So my husband went for this guy and I told him, I don't want this guy to video, to do the video and the photography. Let's get someone else, someone who is even a more professional than he is. My husband was like, no, he's not going to make mistake. He's good, he's in law, he has apologized for my cousins and all that and he's going to do well. So I had no choice, I agreed with my husband. And he did video, he photographed the wedding and everything. <laughs> After the wedding, Oga, please bring our video. And there were stories. Uh, I only covered the I covered the video, but I only have a, a, a part of it, a part of the wedding. The other part, something happened, it was the video, something else on it, and just only one part of the wedding that I have. You can just imagine. You can imagine. Please, sorry about the noise. If you're hearing children, you know, talking or reciting, there's a school behind my house, you know, and there's no light, so generator, people's gens are on and all that. So please, excuse the background noise if you are hearing any please. Thank you. And I was so mad. I wanted to let hell loose on this man. And my husband had to come in that I should just please let it go. We have to, we are already married. I said, yes, we are married. But we don't have anything to, you know, look back. You know, just to sometimes watch. In fact, it was not, a, 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 it wasn't a happy one as a den and all that. But I just had to let go. And yeah, today, we are almost 20 years, in May will be 20 years <laughs> as a couple and we are still counting, you know, yes, God has been so faithful. And so these are all the things that went wrong, the notable things that went wrong on my wedding day and uh, <laughs> I, some of them I know you all, some of them are hilarious now, as at now, but then it was not funny, <laughs> it was not funny at all, but we move, we move, we move here, yeah. and today we are here today, we are happily married and stay counting. So please, if you are planning or preparing for your wedding, <laughs> please take notes and learn from mine. <laughs> Tell your husband to get everything ready. Try to get everything ready. Even if it's a month before the wedding, wear yeah, your clothes your gown, your suit, your husband's suit, your shoes, and all your accessories, get them ready before the wedding day. Yes, and make sure everything is in your hands, is with you in your house before the wedding day. Also, uh, uh, when you are going for photographer or videographer, or uh, anybody that will do the videography, you know, the videos and photo, take the photos and do the video for you, please take your time to look for a professional a professional in the field and not just a professional one that has got good reviews yes please don't go and get look for cheap photographer or cheap video guy you know <laughs> cheap things sometimes don't end well <laughs> so please learn from my don't go for a uh, you know don't uh, uh, just go for any hard person but take your time to get someone that will give you quality service quality you know, uh, uh, video quality pictures, please. Also, uh, um, do not rely so much on family and friends. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> Don't rely so much on family and friends. Even if you, are, you want to, you want them to do something or they promise to do something for you, always have a backup. Yeah, 
always have a backup plan or a plan B in case it does not work. In case the family and friends they, they, they disappoint you. Yes, always have a backup because sometimes things happen. Yeah, things do happen. And most times you cannot even blame them because there are things that when you hear how it happened or what really made it happen the way the way it did, you can't blame them. So sometimes you always you should always have a backup. Always have a backup, yeah, so that you won't be disappointed on your wedding day. Wedding is a day you get joined with your husband and you both become a couple, the husband, you both officially become husband and wife. And it's a day that you want to have fun, want to enjoy the day, want to you know dance, want to just want, want to have a memorable day. Yeah. In as much as you like to you also be careful in spending your budgets. You know there's no perfect wedding. There will always be a better wedding than yours every day as people keep getting married. <laughs> yeah. Whether you believe it or not, the next wedding is going to be better than yours. So there's no competition in wedding. So just do the best. Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you, you know, you, you, you makes you enjoy the day. You know, so go all out. What you can, let it be within your means. You know, though, what you can afford and what makes you happy. You do it. You know, and make sure you have fun that day because just for one day, just once. After that, you may get to do anniversaries, but it's still not going to be like your main wedding. Sorry, I'm looking at myself. If you get to see my eyes shift and all that, um, you know, trying to get used to the whole thing. Yeah. So try to do what makes you happy and what will, what and have fun on that day. But apply wisdom in everything so that you don't get burned out. You know, so that you don't get burned out in a way. You know, so guys, these are all the things that really went wrong on my wedding day, and I say I should share them with you. I hope you find them interesting, you find them funny too, sometimes you know, or hilarious. And I hope you get to learn one or two things from my own experience. And so, guys, please and please and please and please, if you are watching me up to now and you have not subscribed, please subscribe and support my channel please support me in this new journey watch my videos and give it a thumbs up and like like my to my videos share the comments down below yeah the comments down below and share my videos also please click the notification bell so that you get notified when next i send i post another video because definitely i'm posting another interesting video that you know so thank you so much for being with me to this time and thanks for supporting me and i love you guys as always love bye